Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Welcome to our online Sunday service with Pastor Dixon. This happens to be the Christmas Sunday morning and I'm happy, I'm excited that I can still come to you. Thanks to all of those who are watching this broadcast every week from all over the world. We are receiving your messages, we are receiving your support and to God be the glory. We are one big family, the family of God. Merry Christmas once more and may you enjoy with you family this sunday morning there is a word for you and i believe that word will be a great blessing even as that word has been a great blessing to me as the lord deposited that word in my spirit we are talking about the spirit of christmas the spirit of christmas and how you can take advantage of the spirit of christmas i'll be reading a scripture then i will delve into the word of god so that we can discuss certain things how do we take advantage of the spirit surrounding the season of Christmas you can take advantage there's something you can do during this season if you are spiritual enough if you are keen enough if you would pay attention there are certain things you can do that can overhaul your life even as you take advantage of the season and the spirit of Christmas that is our discussion this morning but before then let me read a scripture Matthew chapter 2 from verse number 1 the Bible says and when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king behold there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem saying where is he that is born king of the Jews for we have seen his star in the east and I'll come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them Christ, where Christ should be born. And they said unto him in Bethlehem of Judea, for that as it is written by the prophet and thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah art not the least among the princesses princes of Judah for out of this shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel verse 7 says then Herod when he had bravely called the wise men inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared and he sent them to Bethlehem and said go and search diligently for the young child and when he have found him bring me word 
again that I may come and worship him also when they heard heard the king they departed and lo the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was when they saw the star they rejoiced with exceeding great joy and when they were come into the house they saw the young child with his with with Mary his mother and fell down and worshiped him and when they had opened their treasures they presented unto him gifts gold and frankincense and myrrh and being warned of god in a dream that they should not return to herod they departed into their own country another way and when they had departed behold the angel of the lord appeared to joseph in a dream saying arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt and be thou there until i bring thee word for herod will seek the young child to destroy him let us pray father in the name of jesus thank you for your word and for your word is blessed bless us this morning in jesus name we pray amen well it's that time of the year when we get to celebrate the birth of our lord and savior jesus the christ many people have decided to enter into debates and arguments whether this is the exact day and whether this is the exact season when christ was born listen we may not know exactly i want to tell you the truth but the most important bit is this Christ was born so we cannot entangle ourselves with endless debates and arguments as to is this the exact date or is this the exact season the most important bait is this that Christ Jesus was born the savior of the world from the account of this story that we have read in Matthew chapter number 2 it behooves us then there is that importance of that being reminded that Jesus Christ was actually born the bible has taken time to give us an account of the surrounding events and activities to the birth of Christ it means it is very important to understand certain things from scripture that could be beneficial to us even now listen you can take advantage of a season you can take advantage of a season because the prevailing season has a spirit the prevailing season has a spirit and you can take advantage of what the season is presenting to us that but you must have understanding and i pray that this morning god will give us spiritual understanding as to how we can take advantage of the season of christmas so that it can overhaul change and transform our lives i dare you to believe God that this Christmas will be a different Christmas from any other I dare you believe God that this season of Christmas will be a different season from any other I don't know how you have celebrated the birth of Christ in the past but I dare you listen to me this morning and determine and decide from your heart and in your mind that you will celebrate this christmas in a different way based on the understanding and the revelations that i'm about to share and the bible says now jesus was born in bethlehem of judah in the days of herod the king and he mentioned certain things that probably i'll pull out then i will take you to my message listen the birth of christ was such a big thing that god prepared the wise men to announce the star to announce the birth and to create a create an atmosphere whereby there is knowledge and there is information that something new is happening and i pray for you that god will orchestrate happenings by bringing people around your life to announce your coming to announce you are coming i pray for you this morning that even as we delve into the message of taking advantage of the season and the spirit of christmas that in the same way that the wise men announced and the stars announcing the wise men were announcing and broadcasting 
the birth of Christ, may people be assigned by God to announce you wherever you go. A season, your season has come for you to bring forth and i believe as you bring forth god will orchestrate happenings whereby there are people who will announce you just like the wise men and the star was announcing that jesus christ the son of the living god has been born may god present to you people who will announce you people who will take your message out there in the name of jesus even as i speak i'm speaking about myself may god raise people who will speak well of us and announce us even before we appear that we have arrived before even our arrival somebody will speak in your favor i don't know what you're looking to do in the year 2023 but i pray that god sends people ahead of you in the year 2023 to announce you or in the right places and say all the right things in the mighty name of jesus do you know it matters who introduces you but i pray that god will anoint some people just like the wise men so that they can introduce you to certain environments to certain offices to certain ministries to certain careers people who just introduce you people who just announce you the wise men came to announce and they were speaking of this star that has emerged and were following the star and they moved even to herald to explain to him that they had seen the star and they were creating an atmosphere of expectation because the king of the jews was being born and had been born i pray somebody will announce your greatness moving forward the other thing i would want to mention is this about this story is that the announcing also brings about enemies listen king herod was not interested in the birth of christ because he loved the message he was interested so that he can destroy the dream and the vision you need to be aware that even as you're being introduced and you're being announced in all the right places and people are saying very good things concerning you the enemy also is assigning anointing a pointing people so that they can also try to sabotage and destroy that which god wants you to do listen you have to be aware we are in warfare we are in spiritual warfare to be born is warfare to live is warfare and listen to fulfill purpose is warfare to stay alive is warfare listen life is about warfare don't put your guard down you cannot afford to put your guard down because in as much that there are people who are saying good things concerning you there is one enemy somewhere who is planning evil against your life and you've got to be aware of that king herod was interested in the child jesus the christ not because he wanted to come and give him a, a worship like just like the wise man no 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 he was interested in destroying the young child in the same manner as we prepare to enter into the year 2023 and this happens to be our last uh, the, the Christmas this Christmas season the Christmas day listen prepare that there could be some enemies the, the enemy is positioning so as to destroy your dream and it shall not happen in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ something else I would want to mention in this story then I'll go to the pointers something else I would want to mention in this story is that when they are appeared before Christ and when they came they saw the Bible says they fell down and washed him, worshipped him and when they had opened their treasures that's number 11 they presented unto him gifts gold and frankincense and maya it simply means that besides people God assigning to introduce you and also besides the enemy trying to fight your destiny and future listen God has prepared gifts for you I believe with the whole of my heart that we can decide and say that this season of Christmas, we are taking advantage of the season of Christmas to gifts of God to manifest. Going forward, even into the year 2023, we will trust God. There will be manifestation of treasures. There will be a manifestation of gifts because that is the idea of God concerning you. Listen, God desires, God desires that we enjoy good because every good and perfect gift comes from 
from God, the Father of lights. And I believe with the whole of my heart, as we take advantage of the season of Christmas, the season of Christmas, the Bible says, the wise men, they opened up their treasures and they presented unto the child gifts, gold, frankincense, and Maya. May people open up their treasures for you. I'm prophesying already. May people open up their treasures for you and present to you gifts that you didn't even imagine. Gold is expensive. And you can imagine Frank size and Maya. May God send people your way during this season. Before the year is over, hallelujah, let me prophesy. Before the year is over, some treasures are about to be opened over your life and you will receive things that you didn't even expect or you didn't even imagine you can imagine Jesus born in a manger and there is the mother with the father Joseph and they are there not knowing that some wise men have been sent from a distance and they've been following a star to come carrying treasures just for him and I know for sure you don't know that God has made provision for you and you could be worried you could be anxious right now. You, all you need to know, trust him. God has already sent help through your wise men. There are some people who have been sent to open up treasures for you. And during this season of Christmas, let us trust God and believe God that the best is coming into our hands. Treasures are being opened up. Uh, the, the beautiful gifts are being presented to us in the mighty name of Jesus. I wanted to mention those things before I can go into the pointer of how to take advantage of the Christmas season but I also want to mention this when the wise men they, they had given gifts uh, to the baby Jesus and they were the, the Herod had said that they go back to him and also so that he can also come and worship him the, the God appeared to them in a dream and said no 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 take a different direction and also God appeared to Joseph and said no you must leave now because Herod is seeking this child to kill him. Listen, may God give you warnings moving forward. May there be indicators and signs and warnings in your life. That's so that through that the one who is seeking to destroy you, they will not destroy you. Listen, not everybody is your friend. It's not everybody is, in, is your friend. Sometimes you imagine because they are relatives, they are, they are your friends. No, sometimes even relatives can be used by the enemy to sabotage and to destroy your life. Not everybody around you is your friend. Be wise, be wise. So I pray this morning that God will give you indicators and signs so that you can move in a different direction and you can move from where you are to a place of safety i prophesy safety over your life that you're moving from where you are to a place of safety i declare safety i declare refuge in the mighty name of jesus the bible says the name of the lord is a strong tower where the righteous do run and they are safe may you find safety may the lord find you in his canopy so that the arrows of the evil one will not come near you and the terror by night and day will not come near you and the weapons that have been fashioned because people will fashion weapons just like herod was fashioning weapon against jesus the, the son of the living god in the same manner people will fashion weapons but i declare even as they fashion those weapons you will not be harmed in the mighty name of jesus may you enter into safety this season of christmas we speak safety over your life anyone who's been trying to get to you anybody who's been trying to destroy you we declare we decree by the masses and the grace of god it shall not work I declare, listen to me, type there, amen, share this broadcast and say, it shall not work. How do we take advantage of the spirit of Christmas? Christmas season, number one, is a season of bathing. We are celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So you can take advantage of this season to birth new dreams and new ideas and visions and businesses and concepts. You can take this season as you rest from your normal job, as you take a break from work, as you take a break from your academic pursuits, as you take a break from the things you do business uh, on a daily basis, what you've been doing throughout the year. Why don't you trust God that this particular Christmas will be different? You will take time to try and bath something new. 
So number one, the way we can take advantage of the spirit of Christmas is by birthing new things. Even as we celebrate the birth of Christ, can we trust God also to birth new stuff, to birth new things, to bring forth new things into existence? We listen, we have been made in the image and the likeness of our God. That simply means the creative power of God is also present in us. So you have some creative force in you that can enable you to bring forth, to birth, to create something. May you use this season of before the year 2023, before January gets here. May God usher you into a season of birthing. May new things be start coming into your mind, into your heart. May you generate ideas. May you generate concepts. May you come to a place whereby you are bringing forth something new that you never thought and all even imagined. So Christmas, we can take advantage of the spirit of Christmas by birthing and bringing forth into existence things that never were never in existence. We can actually take advantage of this season of Christmas and be creative. I pray for the creative force of God to be active in your life so that you can start bringing forth things that you never imagined. Sometimes you think that you know yourself. It will surprise you when the Holy Spirit of God comes upon you what you can bring forth. Mary, Mary, Virgin Mary, the Holy Spirit, the Bible says, came up her and she conceived may the Holy Spirit of God come upon you right now and you conceive things that you never imagined you carry ideas the Holy Spirit will come upon you and you come up with an idea that will revolutionize not only your life it will change everything about you your family your business your career or even your ministry may that power come upon you in the same way the Holy Spirit came upon Jesus Christ and he began his ministry and birthed his ministry. May the same spirit come upon you also. The same way the spirit of God came upon Mary, the virgin Mary, and she conceived. I pray that the spirit of God will come upon you and you bring forth something new. Something you didn't, didn't even imagine existed in the first place in the inside of you. You were going to surprise yourself. Can I prophesy? And say you will surprise yourself. You will do something, you will bring forth something that you never imagined existed in the inside of you. I pray for the spirit of creativity. Right now, I pray for the spirit of creativity into your life. I pray for the spirit of birthing in your life. May you bring forth something, may you manifest something that was not in existence in the first place. This season is a season of celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May you bring forth something. I declare, I decree, you're bringing forth something. The number two thing that I would want us to think about and trust God that we can take advantage of the spirit of Christmas is this, is a season of nurturing that you will not only bring forth, but also you will nurture that which you bring forth. Maybe this is not the time you've been bathing. You've already bathed something. You bathed something last year or you've bathed something in the year 2022. But along the way, you lost the energy. You lost the resources. You lost the support system to be able to nurture your dream. Listen, Jesus Christ was born, but now he had to be nurtured. I pray that your dream will be nurtured. May you enter into a phase whereby your dream and your vision, your idea, and concept will be nurtured. It is possible. God can provide a support system, a caring system, resources, connections, networks that will enable your dream to see the light of day. Many dreams are in existence but they are dormant. Why? They are dormant because they are not being nurtured. And it takes a lot of time and resources and a support system and a caring system to nurture. In the same way, a child is nurtured to maturity, to growth. Listen, the same way God desires that we nurture our dreams and we nurture our vision and whatever we bring forth is nurtured. But it takes time, it takes resources, it takes a supportive system, it takes a caring system. And please note this, God desires that your dream has a life. Dreams that are dormant, they will soon die and they will no longer be in existence. I pray for you that that which has been denied nurturing, 
will be nurtured going forward i pray there'll be a nurturing there'll be a nurturing of your dream and your vision there'll be a nurturing of that idea whether it was last year whether it was this year that you brought it forth whether it, you're bringing it forth right now there will be a power from the most high god to be able to nurture i speak resources to nurture i speak patience and endurance to be able to nurture in the name of jesus i speak the connections and the networks that you need to be able to nurture the dream your dream will not die your vision will not die your idea will not go to waste your creativity will not go to waste god is helping you to nurture it to grow and into maturity so this season of christmas we can take advantage of the season of christmas to declare to decree to prophesy that i've entered into a season of nurturing my dreams nurture whatever i have brought forth since i came into the face of the earth and some of those dreams almost died we bring them back to life because we bring in the spirit of, to nurture it takes a lot of care and support to nurture a dream to fruition and to, to a place whereby it is impacting the world i pray that you shall be able to nurture your dream i pray if you had given up on that dream because of lack of resources and lack of a supportive system i hereby declare as a servant of god a system is coming your way that will be supportive your dream i declare resources are coming from the east west north and the south in support of nurturing your dream i declare networks people are talking about speak about you going forward in relation to nurturing your dream how do you take advantage of the spirit of christmas which are the things that we have brought forth but the grace of god the number three way we can take advantage of the spirit of christmas is by releasing you see, when, when a child has matured and they have grown, they will have to be released. Jesus Christ, when he had come of age, at the age of 30, uh, he was serving with his father as a carpenter. And after he was come of age, he was released to go and minister. And for three and a half years, he was ministering to the sick. He was preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. He was healing the sick. He was raising the dead. And he was proclaiming the ear of the Lord and the year of jubilee listen there comes a time whereby you have to be released to the world some of you you have you birthed something already and you've been nurturing it i declare a season of release whatever you carry it is time it be released into the world listen you are too small to just carry a dream and that dream is only in in your life you must come to a place whereby you say this season of christmas i'm now releasing i commission you as a servant of god i commission a release of that dream to the world your village is still too small although you start in jerusalem but your village is too small god is calling you for global impact god is calling you for global impact god is calling you for universal impact you must get international and god will provide avenues and opportunities for you to be released to the world so i want to release you into the world right now jesus was released to the world jesus was released by his parents into the world god released him to us and the parents nurtured him and at the right age they released him to the world so that he can serve the world i want to commission and release you to the world so that you can serve your world you need to go to nations we speak to the nations of the world they are opening up for you we speak to generations we speak to tongues and tribes from all over the world they are opening for you the world hasn't seen nothing yet you are yet to manifest we release you into a place whereby you'll be able to impact the world taking advantage of the spirit of christmas we are proclaiming we are declaring it's a season of release whatever you've carried over years and over time we are declaring it is time is released into the world in the mighty name of jesus we speak a release so taking advantage of the spirit of christmas we are saying it's a season of bathing bathing you're bringing forth something new you are bringing forth something new we are nurturing dreams and visions we are nurturing dreams and vision but also we are being released into the world whatever we carry we cannot keep we cannot contain it we'll have to release it to the world whatever we carry has to go to impacting the entire world the nations africa is opening up to you 
Europe is opening up to you. America is opening up to you. Asia is opening up to you. You are the one I'm talking about. Do not despise yourself. Don't look down upon yourselves and say, no, 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 no. It's not the nations. The nations are opening up only for the pastors. No, the nations are opening up even for you. The idea that you are birthing, the idea that you are nurturing, the creativity that you are birthing and you are nurturing, it shall be noticed all over the world in the mighty name of Jesus. So we speak our release. We speak our release in the mighty name of Jesus. How do you take advantage of the spirit of Christmas? I want to mention the last thing is the season, season to reinvent yourself. Listen, there is no better person to describe reinventing themselves like Jesus the Christ. Born in a manger, they have to disappear to Egypt. They have to reinvent themselves and disappear into Egypt. Come back, start doing ministry, call the disciples. You're talking about every season. It's like Jesus was full of reinventing himself. And you can see through the miracle signs and wonders. You see him being baptized by John the Baptist. And he takes a new turn in ministry. You see him going to the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And he reinvents himself into something else. You see him at the mountain of transfiguration. And he reinvents himself. You see him at the, at the, trans, uh, uh, the crucifixion where he is hung high and spread wide for our sake. He, he reinvents himself. You see him put in the tomb and he's left there for three days you see how he reinvents himself you see resurrection resurrection is a season resurrection also is reinventing himself he comes back to life he reinvents himself he has said he descends then he ascends to god to sit at the right hand of the most high god he is reinventing himself the life of jesus christ was about reinventing himself i pray that god grants you the grace to reinvent yourself based on the seasons that he has ordained and occasioned in your life so during this christmas season i release you and i usher you into the spirit of reinventing yourself maybe you've been feeling stuck in a level maybe you've feeling, been feeling like you're not moving forward and there is no progress there is no fruition there is no fruit out of your life there is no productivity i am here to let you know you can reinvent yourself to productivity you can reinvent yourself to multiplication and before i pray for you i declare and decree you will take advantage of the season of christmas and the spirit of christmas so that you become what god ordained of you we are proclaiming and declaring and decreeing it's a season of birthing new stuff it's a season of bringing forth it's a season of manifesting we are proclaiming declaring and decreeing is a season of nurturing it's a season of nurturing that which we are bringing forth that which we have brought forth already we are going to nurture it to grow and to mature and after it matures we are declaring it's a season of releasing we are releasing ourselves to the world there are no hindrances there are no obstacles there are no barriers there are no mountains that we shall not be able to overcome we must go into the world we are being released into the world we are also proclaiming that we are inventing ourselves we are we are changing we are transforming we are shifting just when we imagine we know you you take a new turn by the grace of god and you reinvent yourself may you reinvent yourself during this season of christmas in the mighty name of jesus i want to pray for you i want to pray for you take advantage of the spirit and the season of christmas to bath to nurture to be released to the world and to reinvent yourself just like jesus the son of the living god let me pray for you father in the name of jesus i pray for my viewers and hearers from all over the world that during this season of christmas as we celebrate your birth O Son of the Living God, let it be a season of bathing new things. Let it be a season of nurturing those things. Let it be a season of being released into the world and to impact the world. Let it be the season of reinventing ourselves by your grace and mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Season of Christmas. We cannot let you go if you're not born again. you got to get born again. It's the best season of your life to be born again. Let me pray for you. Say this after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Save me. Wash me by your blood. I am your own. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. I release you to please look for out.
Bible Believing Church. Uh, give us your name and contact. Somebody will call you and follow up on you so that you can grow in the walk of faith. We must grow. There is a way you grow to become a disciple. Before I release you, I encourage you to support this broadcast. Thank you for those who are supporting, those who are desiring and saying they will be supporting. Support this broadcast so that we can do this every week, every week, every month, every year. And we can keep on improving it. There are many things we desire to do, but we are restrained by resources. Can you be the one that God will use? Use the pay bill appearing on the screen. May God use you during this season of Christmas to release resources to us so that we can do far much more. Than you are doing right now we buy cameras and we 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 prepare a proper studio and i believe with the whole of my heart god is going to use you you are the one that god is going to use to present to open up the treasures for the sake of this broadcast and online church every sunday i release you with a benediction this morning may the lord bless you and keep you may the lord cause his face to shine upon you may the lord lift up his countenance towards and be gracious to you in your going out in your coming in your labors your leisures even as you take advantage of the season and the spirit of christmas and until we meet again next sunday it will be new year sunday and until we meet again next sunday may god be with you watch over you this is pastor dixon online church every sunday god bless you <laughs>